CataractCoach.com. Leukocoria and a newborn baby. What's your diagnosis and treatment? Let's look at the OCT image. We see there's a constricted pupil there, a fibrotic membrane blocking most of the pupil. And then we see that the crystalline lens actually looks pretty clear. So there does not appear to be a congenital cataract. And we look at the live OCT image, you can see nice, clear crystalline lens. There is a fibrotic membrane blocking most of the pupil, but there is a little bit of a pupil that is remaining, that it does allow light to penetrate into the posterior segment. So here it is under the microscope, this pupillary membrane, and we're going to need to excise it. So looking at it, first it's non-inflammatory, and it's also very mildly vascular, not a lot of vasculature in there. So this is likely some developmental issue for the baby. We're going to make a paracentesis here and then fill the eye with viscoelastic. And we're using a dispersive agent here. Make a second paracentesis about 90 degrees away. Again, making sure that we make these paracentesis so that they nick the limbal blood vessels. Now viscoelastic can be injected under that membrane to push the crystalline lens back, to give some space. There's the high magnification view, and this is the maximum pupil dilation we could achieve with pharmacologic means. So we'll need to remove this pupillary membrane. We want to use these 25 gauge retina micro scissors in order to do that. And you can see there's a small amount of bleeding, but it's insignificant. So very careful with this. You don't want to just pull on it. So here we're using a two-hander technique, one hand with the micro scissors, the other hand with micro forceps. And again, the 25 gauge retina instruments are great for this. And we can remove the majority of that membrane to restore a nice normal pupil anatomy. And that looks pretty good. We looked at the posterior segment of this baby and everything looks great. Important to realize that leukocoria can be congenital cataract. It could be something deadly like retinoblastoma. It could be rare things like PHPV, nori disease, Coates disease. There are a lot of things we need to examine here. So while doing the surgery, the baby had a full examination under anesthesia. Now here's after removal of that membrane. We'd see the OCT image again, interoperatively, and we can see it's a nice, clear, crystalline lens. There are no opacities there. And now it's a nice, large pupil to allow in sufficient light. The baby had a complete exam under anesthesia. Fortunately, everything else looked pretty normal. The posterior segment did appear to be uh, intact with no evidence of other ocular disease. So this baby went on to have a very nice outcome. Very important, these patients are having surgery to open that visual axis with this blocked pupillary membrane very quickly, usually in the first month of life. You don't want to wait a year later. That's going to be a problem. Here it is the end of the case. And you can see we've achieved a good pupil. You don't want to just pull on a membrane like this because if you pull on that membrane, you may disinsert the iris. So using these micro scissors was a better option. Now the pupil is not going to be 100% normal, but this is now at least a good functioning size. At the end of the case here, removing the viscoelastic from the eye, being very careful, using a higher infusion setting in order to keep the anterior chamber deep. Don't go anywhere near the crystalline lens. The last thing you want to do is touch that lens capsule because that will induce a cataract. And so we're very carefully removing the viscoelastic from the eye, and that looks pretty good. We'll seal up the eye now at the end of the case. Definitely put in sutures. In this case, we're using 10-O Vicryl. So these are dissolvable sutures, and that'll be very helpful in this case. And we'll close those incisions nicely, and this patient will do great. So a very important case. You have to know how to evaluate leukocoria and do what's best for your patient. And this patient is great. Check out cataractcoach.com, our teaching website. A lot more material than just these YouTube videos. Check it out. Submit your video. Sign up for a free daily email and you will learn a lot.